Welcome to this AP Computer Science A review. We're going to spend this lesson on array lists and reviewing them for the exam. So I want to start you out by referring to your Java quick reference guide. This is something that College Board gives you for both the multiple choice and the free response section of the exam. Uh, in this video, we're just going to look at the array list excerpt of the quick reference guide. Uh, notice it has one, two, three, four, five, six methods that are listed here. Uh, size, add, add with two parameters, get, set, and remove. And because some of the questions you'll experience on the exam will have to do with what is returned or printed due to these methods being used and how they're implemented, uh, we want to make sure we understand the return types. Size is going to return an integer, and that integer is going to be the number of elements in the list. The add method with one parameter returns a Boolean, and it always returns true. Add with two parameters is a void type, so it won't return anything. If this were placed into a println method, it would produce an error because it doesn't return anything. Um, the get method, the return type is E. E means that it is an element of the array. And that means that whatever the object type is for the array is what it will return. If it's a student array holding student objects, it will return the student object at the index specified in the parameters. So it returns the element at that position defined by the index. The set method has two parameters. First, the index followed by an object element E, and it's going to return an object element E. And when we read this, it says it replaces the element at position defined by the index with the object in the parameters, and it's going to return the former element uh, at that index. So just to give you a quick uh, idea of what this is, if I had an array list one, two, three, four holding integer objects, and Let's just call it ARR. If I did ARR dot set parentheses one eight, it would go to index one, which is where two is stored, and replace that with an eight. But this method returns two because that is what is formerly at that index location. And this is useful in programs. If you've ever used a program where you've edited something or you've deleted something, often a dialog box will come on screen and say, are you sure? And if you hit cancel because you don't want to follow through with it, that element is saved in memory so that the computer program can put it back and undo uh, the modification that you were about to, to do with to your document or object. So set returns what was formerly at index, and then it adds one to all of the other elements to the right of that uh, index. And remove also returns what was formerly at that index, but it will subtract one from all of the elements to the right of that index. So you refer back to this array list class and the Java quick reference so that you can use it to help you answer questions on the exam. So here I have a uh, little bit of code set up with an integer array list. It's called nums, and it's instantiated uh, using the default array list constructor. We're adding the elements 5, 7, and 10. So they're going to have the index values of 0, 1, and 2. And we see we have this question, what is printed as a result of the next line of code? Well, system out print nums.add negative 2. Remember, add with one parameter always returns true, so this is going to print true. Because this method is inside the println method, and you say, what does it return? It returns a Boolean, and when we looked at the Java quick reference, it says it returns true, and that's what it'll print. If we continue with this code, again, we have 0, 1, 2, and now we have an index 3, and again, notice that the nums.remove1 is inside of the println method. So it's going to print whatever remove is going to return. Remove is going to return what was formerly at index 1. Well, we just removed 7, so this is going to print 7. After it prints 7, it will change the index of 
uh, everything to the right by subtracting one because index one is no longer in the array. So two becomes one and three became two. So now we have three indices, zero, one, and two. So we're going through this again, index zero, one, two, three, but then it removes element at one, renumbers these to one and two, and inside the print ln, we see we have set zero, eight. So the first number is the index. The second is the element that we're putting at that index. So this is going to replace five with eight. And this is going to return what was formerly there, so it prints five. And we see zero, one, two, three. We remove what's at element one and renumber the array. And now we're going to set index zero to hold eight. And we see the array list is inside of the print ln method it's going to print the array list and if we recall array lists have a two string method defined to print a square bracket and then each of the elements so we have 8 10 and negative 2 and that is what it's going to print out and this is because the array list class has its own toString method that overrides the object class toString method, and it prints out with square brackets each of the elements and commas in between. So these are the things you should know to answer the questions when printing out arrays or printing out uh, array list methods inside of the println method. Uh, we always have to look up what does it return, and that's what it's going to print.